I'm going to show you guys what I think is one of the best holsters you can buy. Um, I got a whole bunch of holsters here, show you differences. Like the start over here. This is like an ankle holster for like a, any universal small type gun. The thing is garbage. Um, I made a mistake. Like I bet you a lot of people have done before in the past. Instead of buying a good holster, they don't know which ones are good and which ones are bad. This, if you see this, don't buy this. This is garbage. Next holster. Another universal type holster with a magazine on the side. This is also garbage. This metal clip right there um, that can bend easily and break. So if you see this, don't buy this. This is garbage. Run for the hills. This is another garbage holster. This is an Uncle Mike's. It's like a I say a pillowcase. This thing is also garbage. Don't buy this. Let's move to Galco. This is a Galco holster. This one I thought it was pretty cool until I see it collapses like this. It's garbage also. It doesn't retain the form. This is inside the waistband. You see this? Don't buy this either. This is garbage. This is another Galka holster, but this one is at external, outside the waistband. It also collapses, but it's not that bad. It retains its body. And uh, you can holster this one-handed. So this is not really that bad. It's a Galco model on the bottom. This is for a Glock. That one is not that bad. Let's continue. Here's an external Phobos, fo fo Phobos, or whatever you say this. Phobos, Phobos holster. It's called Tactical Elite holster. I think this one is pretty alright. I used this a few times for like shooting in the range or a competition. Uh, local competition is nothing professional. This one works alright. And it's like around $19. So you might want to look at this. Another holster I got here. It's this one is a Black Hawk Universal Holster. Size 4. I use it on my Glock 26. And I, this one I like. I can put it inside a pocket. Even it collapses. But I can have it inside of a pocket or inside of a bag. Maybe I can put some velcro here and put it in a in like a max expedition bag with velcro on it. This is pretty nice. I like this kind. Keep moving. This one right here is for a Glock 17 with a light. A uh, specific light is for uh, multiple different lights M3, TLR1 and Surefire lights there's the description right there it's Fairyland but as you can see it's pretty thick pretty big because of the light this is a okay holster only bad thing is kinda bulky so there's no way to conceal this. Next one is this thing. If you see this, don't buy this. It goes inside your waistband or outside and it's kinda like open like a wallet kinda. You put your gun in here. Kinda like that. And you can put it inside your waistband or outside. But this thing is garbage. So don't buy this. And look at the price. Now moving on to the best ones for me. Is this right here. This is kind of like a fanny pack. It goes inside your pants, not outside. 
It's called Smart Carry. And you can put the Glock, small Glock, or any size gun here, like a small size. Not has to be a Glock. And right here has a magazine pouch. So you put this inside your pants and you put your pants over this. And nobody can see that you have a gun. I mean, it's, unless they're looking at your crotch, and, but still, you can notice this. It's like pretty good concealment. Next holster I got here that is uh, one of the best ones I will say is this one. My mentor holster and tag model. Spartan. Spartan is this one. It has uh, it's a piece of leather. Got some holes in there and you can have different loop attachments. You can pick the one that you want when you buy it and you can buy additional different design ones. The good thing about this holster is comfortable to wear and this kite is plastic kite area right here. You can change it. So if you have a different model gun, I just threw everything like this one here. See that's a shell. You just take the screws out. Mount the other one. You have a different holster for a different gun. And these pieces are only like 38 bucks. This holster is like 64 dollars. They say different type of leather ones. They sell one with like a skin sheet or something like that. Cheap in the other side, so it's real comfortable, real soft. But I didn't care about that. This is a pretty cool holster. That downside is this uh, leather will wear out and then you're going to have to wear no, buy another one. And it's pretty flexible but it retains because of the kydex. So you can draw and put the gun back in with no issues at all. I highly recommend this holster. Uh, this one starts at $64. Now, the one that I really like is this one right here. This one is a Phantom holster. Um, if this one is the uh, Macpool uh, edition or whatever they call it. And the difference is a straight down type of holster. Uh, the, the regular one is kind of like canted it like this. And these corners are rounded off. And I bought these loop attachments for inside the waistband. Also, this one is made to carry a light. So, this, this one is a Glock 17 TLR1. And it's really comfortable. I really like this. Hard Kydex, never loses the form. It will last probably forever. The only thing you might have to change is these loops right here if, when they wear off. But because it's curved like this, it fits right next to your leg like this with no problem. Real comfortable. It's like part of your leg. Uh, I mean, I wear this all day. And I couldn't even tell that I had this on. It's so comfortable. I really recommend this. It's a Minotaur poster. And you can find that online. Just do a Google search. Actually, I'm going to put the link on the bottom for the website that sells this right here. They sell it with lights or no lights. It also it came in with these attachments right here. This one goes on the back so you can put your belt across here and use it outside the waistband. It's pretty easy to configure. It got holes already on uh, kind of like that right there. Already made. So all you do is take the screws off. The screws off right there. And Make it whatever up, down, whatever height you want it. And the same for the for this one from the back. You can put them up here, or down here, how high, how low you want it. You can adjust this however you want it. I really, really like this. The only bad thing about it is the wait wait time. The wait time for this is like four to five months before you can get one of these babies. And they run around 80 bucks, 90 dollars, something like that. I think it's 90 dollars. And the wait time for this ones are like two weeks, a week or two weeks. This, they gotta make them when you order them. They make them as you order them. They don't have a whole bunch of stock around. But this, this is the shit right here. I love this.
It's really got a real good retention. It doesn't come off at all. But if you take the light off, put it without the light, the retention is gone. You, the retention is done by the light itself. So now it just comes right out. This is the, how it looks, the other gun, the gun in this Pentor Compact Holster. I have it, this one set up kind of like a, in an angle. The, this one is straight up and down. I, I really like these two holsters. I'm just making this video so you guys know how much garbage is out there. And there are only a few good holsters. And these ones are top of the line ones. So.